Whew. Hi there, it's Running Ron again, uh, and that's downtown Dallas in the background. I just finished running and walking for a few hours uh, just around the Trinity River trails. Anyway, it's February 11th in Dallas, and want to talk a little bit about my sobriety. Today makes 33 months and four days or a thousand, I think a thousand and eleven days. Um, wanted to talk a minute about my breaking points, what finally pushed me into sobriety. Um, uh, my sobriety date is May 7, 2019. Now, I started seeing my therapist in August 2017, and after I'd been with her a short while. I started cutting back on my drinking, but I was still drinking too often and too much. Uh, my cutting down on drinking was a bottle of wine each night, down from ridiculous amounts before that. But so I was. Uh, progressing in my therapy and thinking more about sobriety and then now it took me about six weeks after my breaking points the May 7 2019 my sobriety date that was about six weeks after my breaking points and excuse the shaky camera I'm just trying to get comfortable here I'm sitting in Founders Park in Oak Cliff um, I had been working at Trader Joe's for about a year and a half from November 2017 and been there about a year and a half. That means two Thanksgivings, two Christmases, two birthdays, a lot of different events and I had a real work family there. It's I. Uh, for the most part, I loved working there and had a real work family, but there were uh, some problems with the store captain and between me and the store captain and a couple of the mates, which resulted in a EEOC complaint after I was fired, and that's the point I'm getting to. May not me. March 15, 2019, I was uh, fired and I was completely taken off guard by that and that was that was devastating because again I had that a real work family I still keep in touch with a lot of the people I worked with there and a lot of great people So just for for a lot of people, uh, any job loss of a place that you love working is devastating, and that was. So that happened on March 15th, something I didn't realize had happened just hours before that. I didn't find out until a couple days later that a dear friend of mine that I had met in college and kept in touch with through the years. Uh, she had died by suicide the night before that same day. And the night before her death, we had one of our many 3 a.m., 4 a.m messenger conversations. That was a regular thing for us because we had both battled a lot of mental health conditions for many years. So sometimes we would talk about that and the importance of the importance of being transparent and advocating for uh, advocating for people with uh, mental health conditions. So that was very important to both of us, but she reached the point where she just uh, 
couldn't go on, I guess. So that happened a couple days after I got fired from Trader Joe's. So I was still drinking at that point. So I got fired March 15th. I probably, I think I found out about her death March 17th. A mutual friend messaged me to ask if I knew yet very early in the morning. And I just knew right away what had happened. I just knew. And that combination was just soul crushing. Now I dove back into my drinking. I started drinking a little more for a while after that. But I was thinking more and more about sobriety and I finally reached that point where and I told my therapist this last week I just said okay I I can't do this anymore the drinking it's I knew I mean I knew it wasn't serving me well anyway but I was drinking to self medicate and push all the emotions and all my troubles and everything push them down in an effort to try not to feel them and I continued doing that after my after my firing and after my friend's death and it reached the point where it was just too much you know we talk a, a lot about addicts reaching uh, and alcohol was my drug of choice make no mistake talk about addicts reaching rock bottom and maybe that was my rock bottom maybe that was my emotional rock bottom because I just that was it I just couldn't keep up with the self medicating I couldn't I, I tried I tried it again I tried doubling down on it again like I had so many times through the years and I mean that was it in a nutshell I just wanted to share that just sharing my thoughts so I try to I try to be transparent on my addiction and recovery and everything else and I'm proud as fuck that 33 months and four days sober I'm very proud of that excuse my language but just a little emphasis on that I'm very proud of it and I can see the, the difference and now I'm in the process of changing jobs and everything but I'm way behind on my bills which is not news but the the transition with jobs and the last couple months at the job I'm leaving, they were reducing my hours so much it really it damaged my finances to an extreme extent. And long and short of it, facing that crisis again, but the difference is that I'm sober and that I have all these tools now. I have a lot more coping tools and with sobriety, you do think a lot more clearly, therefore you're more likely to make good decisions. So I'm glad I did that, but wanted to share that. And anyone who is on their recovery journey or anyone who is wanting to get sober, whether it's alcohol or any other drugs, and make no mistake, alcohol is a drug, that it's the best thing you can ever do for yourself. You'll think more clearly, you'll feel, you'll feel better, and you've probably heard all that. And I just hope that for anyone considering sobriety, it doesn't, it doesn't take you reaching breaking points like it did for me. So that was just that time period in March 2019. That was one of the absolute toughest time periods in my life. Something good came out of it. So, there's that. Uh, you know, my sobriety came out of that. And...
far it's already been through? See? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm going to move over here. Okay. Example number 14,637,855 that I'm glad I'm sober. That guy's drugged out of his mind on something, and I don't know what, and I don't care what, but, um, I wish more people would get the help that they, the help that they need. All right, y'all take care.